Madagascar 3, which is about animals. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Make sure you're a friend. So subscribe and like and enjoy the story. Okay, so it was Alex the Lion's birthday, but he was not having a happy one. After a year in his Africa, Alex and his friends were terribly homesick for New York Zoo. Oh, they wanted to go back to the zoo in New York. Giraffe and hippo and zebra. And so the penguins and chimps were supposed to come back in the monkey-powered Skylar plane, but they had flown to Monte Carlo, but they had been gone a long time. Oh, so where are their friends? You mean penguins? So Marty the zebra. Hello. Uh, hello, guys. And and Glory the hippo and Melman the giraffe tried to cheer Alex up with a surprise present. A model of New York City made out of mud. Here it is, a little model. Oh, gee, thanks, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I always wanted for my birthday. Really, really fun. Okay, so I guess that's what I get for my birthday. Jeez, thank you. So, King... Jillian and Maurice, two of the lemurs had, who had followed them from the Madagascar, popped out Alex's birthday cake. Woohoo! Ta da! Your wish has come true, King Jillian said. But Alex's real wish was to go home. Their inspiration struck. What are we doing? Alex asked. Here we are relying on the penguins to come back for us. But they've gone to Monte Carlo. And they're having a good time. Yeah, those penguins are just having a great time while we're stuck over here. So after hopping and skipping and swimming quite a bit, the friends arrived in Monte Carlo. They found the casino scrawled with its duck work to get a look inside. Alex scanned the crowd from above the casino floor. Wow, look how cool that is. Yeah, they're just having a great time. And two chimps, Phil and Mason, and the penguins were not hard to spot. They were all conceived inside a flamboyant costume of the king and Versailles, and his majesty was winning at the roulette store. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. There was a penguin. Zoom, 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 zoom. And they fell into the ceiling before the king could collect his winnings. The humans panicked and closed the doors. Lockdown, eh, Skipper said. He whistled up, and an armored car pulled up to the luxury assault. We burst in the casino. Step on it, boys, Skipper said. Come on, let's break out of that casino. <laughs> Unfortunately, Cap'n Du Bois from Animal Control was on their tail. She was a ruthless hunter. Look at that face. Oh, 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 look at those meany, mean, mean, mean. And she would hang animals on her trophy wall. Ooh, not gonna happen on my watch. The penguins led Du Bois on a high-speed chase through the town, but despite dumping a trail of slippery fish and engaging their nuclear reactor, the animals um, caught her. Kowalski, Skipper Bart, signal the chimps to meet us, and a plane arrived. I'm going to get you. I'm going to have you on my wall as a nice trophy. Oh, she had her hook around Melman. And Alex climbed down to get him with his claw, sending Du Bois flying high into the rooftop pool. That's how they freed the baby. Woohoo! Au revoir, Du Bois. Alex hooted. Woohoo! I'm going to get you, you animals. No, nope, we're going to fight back and get you. Bit, bop, you. And Alex is celebrating a little too soon. The plane was in trouble. Oh, no. Penguins don't know how to fly planes very well. The plane's in trouble. And the zoosters heard sirens closing in. Where could they hide? And how could large exotic animals go unnoticed for so long? They had almost given hope when they were spotted. The animals inside did not want a non-circus folk on their train. Wait, listen. We are circus animals. You gotta let us in. Hey, let us in, let us in, let us in. Uh, Vigilate the tiger was suspicious, but Gia the leopard and Stefano the sea lion convinced him that the circus folk could stick together. He reluctantly allowed them on board. Hi, yeah, can we come in? Okay. Lying about what he did at the circus, Alex described how Landis Trapeze Americano act done over a pool of aqua aquatic cobras. Well, I'll flip off the wire. Uh, you're going to flip on top of uh, cobras beneath? Hmm, I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like anybody wants to be part of that deal, do you? No, thanks. A pearl, a pull up, 
uh, cobras? No, 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 no. And the penguins and chimps dressed as the king of Versailles again and offered the circus owner the gold and gems they had bought and had brought from Monte Carlo. The owner was happy. Woohoo! They signed a contract and then drove away in a very small car. Oh, and the penguins drove to the train to Rome, where the circus was scheduled to play at the Coliseum. The animals' hop, hopes were high. After Rome, they would go to London. Oh, yeah. If all went well, they would be on its way to America. Great idea. Going to America, back to New York. Okay. But all did not go well. The circus was terrible. The audience demanded their money back. We want our money back. We want our money back. Give us our money back. Now, now, now. That night, Stefano told Alex that their circus used to be great. In Vitaly's popular act, he put oil on his fur and jumped through smaller and smaller flaming hoops. One night, he used the wrong kind of oil and tried to jump through a tiny hoop. His fur caught on fire, and he was never the same as since. Oh, they were trying to teach this, the animals how to be great circus performers. Mm, I don't know about oil in my fur and burning up. Doesn't sound like a good plan to me. No, it doesn't sound like a good plan. No, no, no. Alex called everyone together and announced that they were going to stage an all-new animal circus. We'll come up with something fresh, something amazing, something brand new, he said. The others caught Alex's enthusiasm. Even Vitaly liked it. Fur, fur, fur. We'll think of something good. Yeah, we'll think of something real cool. Yeah. Oh. I wonder what it's going to be. I wonder what it's going to be. Me too. Me too. The animals reinvented their act and themselves. The dogs dropped their old-fashioned routine and got rocket skates. Oh, I got rocket skates. And Stefano traded juggling for flying. Oh, and Melvin did a dance on the high wire. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I can't wait to watch the show. Me too, me too, me too. And Gia got Alex to teach her the trapeze Americano, which he made up as he went along. But Gia's grace and Alex Ravato somehow combined it to make a real act. Ta-da! Aren't we great? Oh, yeah, and they would be going to London soon. Aren't we terrific? Yeah, we are terrific. This is so much fun. In London, the animal spotted the American promoter in the audience. That was it, but Vitaly had cold feet. Listen, man, you got it. You, ha you may have given up on yourself, Alex told him, but your friends haven't given up on you. Are you just going to turn your back on them and sit and eat? Borscht the rest of your life, or are you going to get out there and jump through the hoop? Come on. Yep, we've got to, like, stand up and believe in yourself. Come on. You can do it. We animals believe in you. So, the circus was a huge success. The Americana promoter immediately signed a contract to take them to New York. Woo-hoo. We're going to New York. Kid, you're going to be big. You're going to be big. Big in the red apple, the big apple, the big red apple. New York, New York, you know what I mean? New York, the home of Broadway, the home of the Americana. Uh-oh, then Du Bois caught up with them again. She showed the animals a poster about Alex's escape from the zoo and demanded that the lion be turned over to her. Give me back the lion. He has escaped from the zoo and I need to get him. I'm in charge of him. The circus animals felt used and sad. Everyone prepared to go on their separate ways. Once they reached New York, King Julian had struck up romance with Sonia, the bear. Oh, man. Everything was going well, but, you know, what can we do? Yeah, what can we do? So, when the... Friends finally reached the zoo. It seemed smaller than they remembered. Suddenly, it didn't feel like home anymore. When we were in the circus, we were already home, Alex said. What do you say that we go back? But before the zoosters could leave, Du Bois shot them with tranquilizer darts. Then the zoo officials arrived and thanked her for returning the animals. We're stuck in the zoo. It's so small. It's like a cage. It's no fun. Oh, we have tiny little spaces. King Julian tranquilizer made him loopy. I'm so loopy. This tranquilizer has made me sleepy. He made his way back to the circus and Sonia. I don't want to be king anymore. I was so hung up of who I was, who you was, and what you smelled like. 
when all really matters is what we smell like together. <laughs> yeah, it's about friends, yeah. Hours later, Alex and his friends woke up to the zoo where officials were giving a party to celebrate the animal's return. Dubois' speech was short but not remotely sweet. She raised her dart gun to go after Alex again. But racing out of the sky was a huge balloon with fur power written on the side. Alex raised his arms and Gia and caught him. And so they were like, hey, maybe we can get out of here. Yeah, maybe they can make the plan. Let's get them out of there. You think that we can make the plan and get out of there? Let's see. Let's see. Come on, everybody. And the, but the boys caught Stefano to rescue him. Uh, Alex would have to do a real version of the trapeze Americano act he made up on the earlier. Alex and Gia swung down and pulled Stefano and the boys, took Stefano to safety. But Alex and the boys did a tree fall toward the pool of aqua crowbars. And the dogs fired their rocket shoes like a jetpack. And they release balloons to the children of the world. Oh, that's so fun. Together we can do it. Together we can do it. Yeah, I think we're winning. Yeah, I do too. I think that we're going to win. I think they're winning too. I like it. I like it. I like it. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. So as they float into the clouds, Stefano asked Alex and his friends if they wanted to run away to the circus and live a life of adventure. And Alex said, yes. They all said, we certainly did. Yes, let's go on a life of adventure being with our friends and being independent and having more space and enjoying ourselves. The reunited circus set up a happily on their new tour of America. Hey, Skipper, Alex suddenly wondered, what did you end up doing with your, your lady anyways? 